Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, thanks for returning and being part of the fam. So today, I was thinking about doing a tips and tricks of all the medical procedures and um, what helped me get through them and all the medical things that helped me through like physical therapy but i'm not going i'm not going to go into much detail if you want me to or if you want to go into much detail um we already have a video on, on my channel i'll link it in the cards up here so it's probably on top of my head somewhere but yeah so let's get into this so my first surgery that I had was the SDR, which is the um, selective dose of I just know it, so I'm going to say it really fast, and I probably slurred my words <laughs> right there. But yeah, so basically they have to cut your back open, which I'm not going to get into because your brain is sending the wrong messages to your, um, or to your muscles. So they sever the ones that are sending the wrong messages. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep them brief. So, anyway, so uh, what we did with that surgery was I was in the hospital for a week, yeah, a week. My mom also, that uh, that scar is also the itchiest scar, which I do have a trick for that. So my trick is for to put either lotion and um, vitamin E, but not together. Vitamin E is the most effective way to do it. Also, they are capsule size and just the vitamin E oil in like a little, a little bottle. Get the oil because the inside, the capsules are going to be so slippery. So, to give you a little backstory, so my mom was on the bathroom floor and I was too, cutting the vitamin E capsules. Like we had probably. 15 capsules open because at first your, your scar is so big and um because they're opening up your back <laughs> but yeah they were slipping out of my mom's hands so and we did not know about the pre like oil without the capsules so get the for just a bottle with oil and you probably can get it at CVS, Walgreens, anything like that. Or I'm sure you can get it on Amazon if people like Amazon. I shop on Amazon all the time. So yes. So for my hip surgery dun 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 that was a whole nother story. If you want to hear about that short of it, go watch another video. I'm not going to get into too much. So for that surgery, my hip was subluxing, which means um, coming out of your socket or your hip socket. So I had to get surgery. For me, I have a history of um, spasming in my cast. Because I used to have um, serial, serial casting then. So, which that's, that's another thing. But that's how we figured that out. Because it literally spasmed when I had my serial casting. So, and the doctor said that was very common for um, spastic or. Um, for somebody in with my diagnosis 
diagnosis to uh, have. So, anyway, they typically do body casts um, because of that, but because of my me spasming, she decided not to and gave me a brace. If I have a picture of it, I will find it. If I don't, um, I'll try. I think we do have pictures of it, but I didn't want. So here's the thing, I do not like surgeries. So my mom, I was very particular with my mom not taking pictures of me while I was in like a cast or anything like that. So there's probably very few. So anyway, so or for that kind of situation and my body cast, I mean not my body cast, my um serial casting, we would do sponge baths, which they are not pleasant, but you gotta do get the job done. It's very itchy too, but whatever. What I do, well, not that, is get, um, now I have my scratchers. But do I use them? Sometimes, sometimes not. Um, but each cast has different holes. There are wooden ones, there are metal ones now, which I think is incredible. And I got these on Amazon. And this video is not sponsored by anybody or any entity. Just so that everybody knows. Um, yeah, I got these on Amazon. So that... Yeah, because my mom got sick of itching. Well, not sick of boy. You know what I'm saying. That brings me to... Okay, I wish I would have known to shave my legs, but I was only seven or six or how old, however old I was for the, for the percutaneous and for every other surgery, but I was only seven years old then. So like what, what, what seven year old does, um, shaves her legs. But knowing what I know now, I wish I would have, if I, what did you do at 23? I would, um, I would definitely recommend, um, shaving your legs before you get cast on or whatever. Or having somebody shave your legs. Cause that is no fun. Oh yeah, bring anything that like will bring you comfort or if like you have a pillow that you like. Yeah, I would do that. And bring your technology, because you're going to be not getting very much sleep, but you're going to be a lot of visitors, too, which I appreciate everybody who came and visited me. Oh, yeah, so for my hip surgery, my mom, it was kind of hard with the brace that they created, which I, I commend them for their engineering. Oh, my God, not that one. <laughs> They're cre they're creative wait, hold on. Creativity? Wait. Creativity. Yeah, creative so whatever Maddie said. <laughs> but um it's something that I went and thought of. But yes, my mom did make wrap skirts so that I could not have a metal thing. I think we just uncovered them. Cause we still have them. Just in case I have another surgery. God forbid. I really don't want another surgery. Anyway. God willing, I will not. So. My mom was very... How would you explain it? Okay. She was just trying to everything under the moon. So I had cranial, I did um, acupuncturist, I went to, obviously like a pediatrician and you know, all the 
basic. I went to speech therapy. I went to uh, through school. And then I also had all this is going on. I also had physical therapy um, when I was in school and out of school. Oh, yeah. And then I also had I did horseback riding, which is also known as hippotherapy, which they basically help you ride a horse bareback, and it, mim it mimics walking um, for our muscles that do not get walking anymore. So, yes, and 4-H does it, but or this. just look up hippotherapy. That concludes this video and I will see you guys in my next one remember to keep on rolling and if you have any other suggestions for YouTube videos let me know I would prefer to do stuff that you guys want to watch yeah I will see you in my next video bye